Oh my god, yes. Whew. Oh, that's such a nice bend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Copy mana copy guys. Welcome to another reaction to Ali Bata. This is Dear God from Avenged Sevenfold. That was also my last reaction. So if you haven't seen my reaction to the original song, you can click the link above here or in the description down below. The last one that I've done from Ali Bata was also one from Avenged Sevenfold, which was Buried Alive. Now the original song, Dear God, is totally different than Buried Alive. So yeah, that's that. I was definitely glad that I got to see the original before this one. Without any further ado, let's check this one out. Here we go. Oh my god, yes. Did you already see those two moments there? So, first of all, like he twisted the A string which we usually tune at the A string, which is the second string from above. So he retuned that one, and then he used that same technique, the bending on the head, kind of like. I don't actually know what the name of the technique is. It stays so interesting to see. So let's just return and listen to that again. Harmonics. Whew. Okay, so guys, if you don't know, I give commentary on the guitar playing and such, uh, and try to give you some useful information about the, some of the techniques that he uses. Now, listening to the original, there are a ton of swift movements in the intro and such, which I didn't pay too much attention to the first time that I listened to it. But the second time I did hear it, it sounds pretty much exactly the same, the guitar playing at least. Of course, in the original, there are other instruments. Uh, but of course, we see like the tapping again, like we see quite often with Ali Bata. Just the subtle percussion there, which adds like a lot, I think. The harmonics in there are just as incredible as ever. Let's keep going. lyrics here did you see the percussion there oh. <laughs> oh let me turn back to that moment so if I'm not mistaken the bending technique on the head that he used in some other videos as well I don't think we saw him use it on the upper strings before but now he did I could be wrong but it just struck me like that I got goosebumps. It's first of all, it's a very beautiful song in my opinion. Uh, it's a, a very good melody and the fact that he can always integrate 
this melody of the of the main vocalist into the guitar parts is incredible and the techniques i mean jesus christ i just get shivers ah the beautiful melody combined with the swift movements and the seamless techniques in there the bends uh the harmonics <sighs> it, it's just okay keep going nice he uses the double layer so he uses octaves the main vocalist that's very high to sing and he plays that line but also the octave lower or two octaves lower i believe let's look at that also a couple of other things i think it's the first video that i see where there are lyrics included from the original song i think i haven't seen that before from him also he's sitting on a chair uh, which is also different than i'm used to okay let's keep going Let's listen to the melody of the chorus. Here. I think it's one or two octaves. Think one. Before he goes on to the bridge or the solo or whatever like a couple of things that you see with the percussion on his guitar the tapping close to him on the lower part just near his thigh let's say the tapping there is a pretty sharp sound uh, when he taps on the back of his guitar right here it is a bit more full sound which is not that surprising because there is more room there's a lot more space on that part of the guitar inside to make sound there whilst the part where he's tapping closer to the strings is smaller there's a lot less space in between that so it's a sharper sound there it depends on how he taps it of course like if you tap with your fingernails it's a high pitch sound if you tap with your skin it's more of a damped sound so yeah just that as a little bit of information for you guys i don't really use it that often myself i'm nowhere near as good as this so it doesn't really matter but it might be useful for you guys so yeah let's hear the bridge did you see these story to pause again guys but did you see the different ways he taps his guitar he uses the palm of his fist let's say which is a, uh, a more damped sound but it's more like a bassy kind of sound like it's replacing the bass drum of a drum set and when he uses his knuckles it sounds more like a snare kind of or like uh, or like a tom i don't know uh let's see that again that moment here yeah
but notice it was not with the with the palm of of his hand. It was actually uh, a sharp tap. I don't really know. Was it? I don't. I don't think it was with his fingernails, but I'm not sure. Also, uh, I don't know why the TV uh, is on this image and what program it shows. Has it something to do with the song, or is it just? Has it nothing to do with the video, actually? Because that can be kind of distracting for the, for the viewer. Not for him, it's behind him. So, yeah, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. You're welcome. I still know what it means. Thank you. That was a nice one. I do wonder sometimes these arrangements that he makes for these songs. Does he write that down somewhere to memorize it, to, to remember it, how to play it? Because, I mean, he makes these arrangements himself, I believe. But for all these songs and these different positionings to all remember that, it's just that is crazy. I don't know. Like, when I record a song, usually, like, years after, like, I don't really play it that often years after. So when I want to play that song again, I have to re-exercise everything that I've learned from that. And it will be quicker, but I have to still, like, look it up because I don't remember everything uh, on how I played it. So is that the same? Uh, like, if you would ask him to play like a song from a couple of years ago, will he just be able to on the spot play it like he did in one of the videos? If not, does he have a document in which he can see exactly how he played it? Or does he just remember it? That would be crazy. Uh, but I'm sure you guys will let me know. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to Ali Bata, this one, dear God. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other reactions to Ali Bata, all these other singers, musicians, bands, and such. I have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out. So thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>